Welcome top news today. Add to Flipboard magazine. Embed from Getty Images oh ho pics you've done stepped in it now your old money democratic Connecticut family will never look at you the same way again now that the New York Times has revealed that you yes you right there are in that very fancy tuxedo may have committed a great big obstruction of justice right in front of Donald Trump and Mark Harallo the former PR guy for Trump's legal team according to Michael Wolf's Fire and Fury Harallo up and quit his job because he was worried he had witnessed a great big obstruction of justice related to the famous Air Force One meeting where Trump and his people helped Dum Don Jr. craft a lie statement about why Dum Don Jr. met with one million Russian spies in Trump Tower in June 2016. Hope get a lawyer oh wait you already have one make a deal with Robert Mueller right now hope and YT breaks the news that Corallo is ready and willing to RSVP yes to the invitation he just got from special counsel Robert Mueller and this is what he's ready to tell him Mr. Corallo is planning to tell Mr. Mueller about a previously undisclosed conference call with Mr. Trump and Hope Hicks, the White House communications director, according to the three people. MRC Corallo planned to tell investigators that Ms. Hicks said during the call that emails written by Donald Trump Jr. before the Trump Tower meeting, in which the younger Mr. Trump said he was eager to receive political dirt about Mrs. Clinton from the Russians will never get out. That left Mr. Corallo with concerns that Ms. X could be contemplating obstructing justice, the people said. OK wow, now, let's get out of the way that Hicks's lawyer says this is fake news. And on one hand, this could be read as an offhand comment like pfffffft, those emails will never get out. On the other hand, it could be read like, yeah, buddy, let's see them try to find those emails in the pockets of my elegant and S-E-X-I-L-Y androgynous tuxedo in China. NYT goes through a short recap of what happened on Air Force One, as Trump and his idiots were traveling home from the G-20. News of Junior's big gay Russian meeting had broken and NYT had some questions, Mr. So there was a back and forth involving Trump and Hicks who were on the plane and Junior and... His lawyer Alan Garten in New York, who were texting back and forth with Hicks because Daddy Trump doesn't know how to use email or Snapchat or Tinder or Ebates. Trump's lawyer at the time, Mark Kasowitz, was not involved, so there goes your attorney-client privilege. Eventually, they came up with a bullshit statement about how dumb Don Jr. was only meeting with those Russian spies about bouncy Russian babies. Meanwhile, Jared Kushner and his lawyer Jamie Gorlick were on a different path, making up a different lie statement about the meeting, that was full of lies. Meanwhile, Mark Corallo was giving statements to the Wingnut News website Circa about how maybe the Russian spies were secret Democrats working for Hillary Clinton or something. And that is what led to the newly famous conference call, the one Corallo is ready to tell Mueller all about accusations began flying that the botched response made an already bad situation worse. Ms. Hicks called Mr. Corallo, according to three people who relayed his version of events to the Times. She accused him of trafficking in conspiracy theories and drawing more attention to the story. The conference call with the president, Mr. Corallo and Ms. Hicks took place the next morning, and what transpired on the call is a matter of dispute. In Mr. Corallo's account, which he provided contemporaneously to three colleagues who later gave it to the Times, he told both Mr. Trump and Ms. Hicks that the statement drafted aboard Air Force One would backfire because documents would eventually surface showing that the meeting had been set up for the Trump campaign to get political dirt about Mrs. Clinton from the Russians. According to his account, Ms. Hicks responded that the emails will never get out because only a few people had access to them. M. R. C. Orallo, who worked as a Justice Department spokesman during the George W. Bush administration, told colleagues he was alarmed not only by what Ms. Hicks had said, either she was being naive or was suggesting that the emails could be withheld from investigators, but also that she had said it in front of the president without a lawyer on the phone and that the conversation could not be protected by attorney-client privilege. Oh, hope treacherous waters ahead NYT notes that if Hope Hicks really thought they could hide those emails, she was being a idiot because Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort both of whom at the Trump Tower meeting and involved in the correspondence and other Trump idiots had already been dumping documents on Congress's face, and that shit was in the mail. And of course we all remember how dumb Don Jr. 
ended up tweeting out the entire email chain later that very week, which seems to have foiled Hope Hicks's devious plan, assuming she in fact had a devious plan. Hey, here's a fun excerpt from Fire and Fury that lots of people are lolling at right now. Now we know what Bannon was so mad about, so Mark Corallo is fixin' to tell Robert Mueller this story. Remember that Hope Hicks has already talked to Mueller for two whole days. Sure hope she didn't lie to Mueller, otherwise it's time to flip on the big orange idiot in the White House. Hope save yourself, hope you are your only hope, hope hope follow Evan Hurst on Twitter right here. Wonk it salaries and servers are fully paid for by you please pay our salaries. New York Times at the Flipboard magazine. Wonk it went to world tour save the at percenting date Long Beach, California, Monday, February 5th, Reno, Nevada, Sunday, Feb. 11 Bend, Oregon, Tuesday, Feb. 13 Portland, Oregon, Thursday, February 15th, read more we love you, you pay our rent.